I just had the first round of fixtures of the Six Nations. I've watched two of the three games. I've watched the Wales Scotland game and the England Italy game. I couldn't watch the Ireland France game because I was at another sporting event. But I have read the match report and seen a few highlights. Wales Scotland. Wales didn't have to play well to win. Um, they were they defended well uh, and they got lucky with the first try of the interception and then the other tries were just basic Scottish errors, be it penalties, defensive mistakes. Scotland were too loose all the time. I know Gregor Townsend wants them to play quick, quick paced. And and unpredictably, they've got to have a plan B. They did not show that plan B until um, Horn scored his try in the last five minutes. They did not have a plan B. They didn't decide to change at half time and go right. Let's just be a bit more steady and sensible for five ten minutes, and then use our attacking abilities that we showed in the autumn when they needed to. They they were trying to play straight away, unstructured from the from the offset, um, and it was going wrong. Those two tries it should have been okay. Right, let's just set it down. Five ten minutes of structured play. They they didn't want to do that. Well, fair enough. No risk, no reward. But they they were completely shown up to basically look stupid. They were completely outclassed. At one point, I thought they weren't going to score at all. And I'm not a big fan of this well side. Yes, it was basically a Scarlets Glasgow game. And if you do that regularly in the Pro 14, Scarlets are the better side than Glasgow at the moment. But it shouldn't be that score line. That that was horrific. Um. I think it was uh, 15 Scarlets players or something overall selected and about 12 Glasgow players overall selected. This is the danger, as I've said, of selecting predominantly from one side if you've got a smaller club base to select from for Scotland. Wales, uh, they do have a few other players dotted around other clubs, but this, this shows the danger of single club selection. Scotland, the Glasgow players didn't perform. Simple. Uh, <coughs> Ireland France uh, came down to a last minute drop goal by Norman Sexton. It was basically a penalty game, and then Tommy, Teddy Thomas scores a brilliant, brilliant try. But head I HIA injury assessment was abused by the French players. Clearly got a knee or a leg injury, and they've done the old HIA because they run out of subs, uh, and it was clearly abused. Um, and they're investigated. So there's controversy in the France Ireland game. Uh, it was a very stodgy affair, penalty for penalty, um, from what I've heard. Admittedly, the conditions weren't great. It's been cold in France, and they've had a hell of a lot of rain. Um, more bad weather than we've had it. They've had a lot of bad weather, high river levels, flooding. So, not ideal preparations for both sides. The weather's been crap in France. In Italy, it was 46-15. And the scoreline uh, doesn't reflect the game. I think Italy actually played quite well. Um, and they've got a lot of positives to take out of that. England were more clinical, and... It's the players they brought in uh, to replace those missing played very, very well. Uh, it's good selection headaches for Eddie Jones to have going forward for the rest of the tournament and then for the summer tour and then for the Auburn Internationals, he's got some good selection headaches. Um, and it was good to see a lot of extra Chiefs play because um, they're the best team in England and they're not getting the selections I think they deserve uh, at international level. They've been playing well for a couple of years now and they're in, in the Premiership. And for um, to see three extra players on the pitch, including Jack Noel, who I said was a player to watch, who did score a try. Um, yeah, Johnny May, I don't know what it is. He played well, still can't score a try in Six Nations. Don't know what it is. And defensively, he was partly at fault for the first Italy try because England, I have noticed, are defending too narrow in their 22, far too narrow. And the breaks that Italy had, again, came on the flank. Didn't come down the middle, they came on the, the edges. Um, that centre wing channel. They weren't coming down in the middle. They were bashing up the middle for a bit, getting no change. They give it to Bellini on the wing, on one wing, or uh, pass it out to Maury, I think was the centre's name, it was a bit of a beast, in the wing centre channels, and they got through either way. Uh, and that's where the two drives came from, bashing up the middle. Tommy Allen um, created both drives. With miss up, um, with the miss pass, and Benvenuti, his his try was well taken, and uh, the Bellini's try was it a try? Was it not a try? Was his knee in touch? Was it not? Uh, it, it wasn't conclusive enough to disallow, but the fact that there was so much, he had so much space, and he had you know there are weaknesses. Mike Brown has come into the line; they've been sucked in. They haven't drifted across properly. That is a weakness that the Welsh would have clearly seen and would have been relishing. And they would look at both these sides and go, right, defensively we're pretty solid. 
So the way both sides played, they would probably be able to hold that defence with their defence blitz defence that they have. Um, Scotland were the worst team this weekend. They didn't have a plan B. They really didn't. Uh, they didn't have a balanced game at all. So whatever they did in the autumn, however good that was, and whatever they did last summer and in the autumn, uh, was clearly shown up to be okay. Was it? Well, Australia did have players sent off in that game. What has caused them to? And some other found gaps in the Scottish defence. Scottish defence, we knew had an issue, but their attack was quite good. But when you get unsettled, and you come up against a defence that has worked out the attacking runs, and they worked out you're going to be disorganised and deliberately loose, you've got to have a, some. Okay, tries going to get it. It's a miss pass. It's it's an interception. Mm, got to have some stability to go calm it down for five minutes. Let's be let's be sensible. Let's get the kick off back. Build from the kick off, or at least change for the kick off. Nice, stable. Five ten minutes, no, give away another try straight away. There was a spell in the first half, that was like two tries. And then the second, the rest of the first half was pretty even. Second half, straight away, penalty given away. There was no structure. I know Gregor Townsend wants to attack with and, and play with this fast paced, um, loose game, but defensively they were loose as well, and it's not good enough. France Island was always going to be a stodgy affair with, as I said, the weather conditions, and the French just coaching the flair out of their players. They brought a lot of young players in, but. Time will tell. Uh, and if they've got some good positives out of that, yes, they took a, a heavy defeat in the end, but they've got some good young players coming through. England, the only issue I have is their centre wing channel on the outside defence, because that's where the two tries came from, and the try that was disallowed came through that space. Um, in the middle, they're fine. It's those five metres either side where they seem to not wanting to defend and they were sucked in far too easily and they didn't number up properly so your basic defensive principles disappeared they were defending very narrow anyway they were defending narrow for some reason they underestimated the attacking capabilities of the opponent and they just, if they do that against Wales they will get punished whether they win or lose against Wales is relevant because they actually scored more points against a team that was playing better than Scotland so if Italy was to play Scotland and how Italy plays today they would have beaten Scotland and I'm not joking on that um, I think Italy would have a good go against Ireland and France because the way they were just very stodgy. So I, I don't know how we re-rate this first weekend. But uh, Italy need to work on their discipline. France need to work on, well, they got a try so they can cross the line but they need to work on a few bits and pieces and the head HIA incident is under review as well so there, there could be some disciplinary issues with France. Ireland need to need more than just Johnny Sexton to kick and points. They do need to work out some bits of their attack. It, the French kept them out. So I need to work on their attacking coordination a little bit. Scotland need to work on everything. Uh, the Welsh, um, they they didn't have to play well. Uh, they're going to have to up their intensity levels and maybe look at a couple of selections. There were no injuries for Wales. Uh, there were no real injuries from Scotland, there were no injuries that I know of for Ireland. France had a couple. Italy had one guy come off the end who looked a little bit shaken up. England, uh, Danny Kerr uh, had to come on. Um, ben Young's had a horrible knee injury. So there's one or two more injury concerns, but not many. Anyway, but that's my review of it. It wasn't a bad opening weekend. I think the best game was actually the England Italy game because both sides just wanted to play positively. It was just, there was a, it was obviously the first game of the tournament, a lot of penalties, a lot of mistakes. Um, but it was good to see the Italians play expansively and prove you can do it. Um, they got to work on their defence and their discipline. England actually have to work on their, as I said, open side, blind side, wing, centre channel defence, or the outside defence. And um, yeah, I think Scotland look at from that, if Scotland play a lot out for the rest of the tournament, they are going to get a wooden spoon by a long way and they may not even get a losing bonus point because that was shocking yesterday. I I, I even stopped watching bits of the second half because I knew they weren't doing anything and I watched the last five minutes and as soon as I turned it back on they score. But every time I just was checking the news, checking the football scores, another po more points, penalties or tries are going over for Scott. The Scots just looked all over the place. Um, something's gone very wrong in their defence and their attack um, for them to completely lose what was good in the autumn. Things to work on in the autumn. When I said that, that they could do things, and there's nothing.
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon.